Welcome back, everybody. Most Grand Prix drivers will tell you they started with go-karts. Yeah, it makes sense, but we really don't see a future for either of these guys. We're talking about Hot Rod Maloney and racing Jason Colthorpe. They are at full throttle over in Sterling Heights, ready to find out who is the fastest. That's right. No more practice run, boys. It's time for the real thing. This is the one that counts. Welcome to the conscience-free zone. <laughs> if, if you ain't first, you're last. We're ready. Are you ready? We're ready. Let's go. Rod does a little bit of twist there. They better be careful. That's for sure. Because we, we, oh, 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 is that it? Is that it? I think racing Jason Colthorpe just won that race. <laughs> oh, wait, is it going on again? I think yeah, it's a victory. Was it a two lap race? I, I guess so. A victory a lap. Victory a victory, lap. victory lap. lap. That's what it is. Obviously, yeah. in celebration of the Grand Prix starting it's this up, weekend, talking a little bit of trash talk all day Jake long. They really were. What a great time it looks like they had. Uh, okay, guys, this is it. You can Jake stop now. Me, you can stop now. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, the you got to get. Winner. You do Jake have to give it to me. Jason. Wait, what's he gonna? Oh. oh. Oh, come on, what's he doing? There's no hitting and racing. <laughs> awesome, awesome job. All right, well, we'll let those guys enjoy the rest of their race over there in Sterling Heights. Um, but we do want to tell everybody, Local 4 is definitely your home for this weekend's Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix, a charity event, kicks off race weekend. And we'll be bringing you all the action on Local 4 Plus. Jamie, Bernie, and IndyCar driver Tony Kanan will be joined live by all the biggest names in racing, also in the auto industry as well here in Detroit. The grand premiere Friday, 645. We'll be streaming it live on Local 4 Plus. Then on Sunday at 7, join us for our special edition of Local 4 News live from Belle Isle following the race. And remember, it's the last one on the island before they move it, you know, to the streets. So it will should be fun, a fun time. It definitely will.